Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be styling my hair with some new goodies I got from Curlsmith. So if you'd like to see that, then just keep watching. So if this makeup and shirt look familiar, it's because I just finished filming a deep conditioning video. So if you haven't seen that one, I will link it up in the cards and in the description box below. So definitely go check that out. But today I'm going to be styling with some new goodies. Well, new to me, I should say. They're not really new, um, but new products from the brand Curlsmith. So Curlsmith is a sort of high-end brand. They are a little bit on the pricier end um, that you can find at Ulta um, as well as online on their website that I have heard really good things about, but I just haven't had a chance to try them yet. So, of course, I grabbed a couple of their goodies from Ulta during Black Friday when they were having a sale. They were having 40% off um, during Black Friday and they came super quick. So I figured I would go ahead and style with them today um, to try them out and give you guys my first impression. But before we get into that, if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you like what you see, definitely stick around, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload new videos. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. So let's get into the products. The products that I picked up were the, um, these are from the moisture recipe line. I got the curl conditioning oil in cream. And this is kind of like a leave-in conditioner. It's just meant to moisturize. It says moisture, nourish, and, and shine. And it says it's leave-in cream for curly or coily hair. And then I got the curl defining styling souffle. It's supposed to enhance, anti-frizz, and bounce. And it says it's a styling gel for curly or wavy hair. So I did get another styler from them, which is more geared towards curly and coily hair. And that's their in-shower in style fixer. Um, I didn't want to try that one today because you have to use it on pretty much soaking wet hair. And I let my hair dry a little bit after doing my deep conditioner. So I just didn't feel like going through the whole like soaking my hair Again, I do have a spray bottle here, so um, I will be re-wetting my hair, but for the in-shower style fixer to really work well, your hair has to be dripping wet. So I figured I will try that in the shower um, and maybe film that another time. But for now, I wanted to try these and I think I'm gonna do a wash and go. So I am going to style my hair with these two products just to tell you a little bit about what they claim. It says all our products are naturally curl friendly and gentle enough for daily use. All blended carefully in small batches under strict supervision by our master curlsmith. Um, and so this one, it says for the uh, oil and cream, it says how to enjoy this leave-in conditioner. Divide wet hair into sections and smooth through. Do not rinse out. Style is desired, excellent for TWA's wash and go, LOC or LCO method, braids and twist outs. Great primer for styling products. Doesn't flake, non-greasy, non-crunchy. Um, and so it says the hand-picked ingredients are resurrection flour, grated carrots, rare andoroba, I don't know what that is, <laughs> um, squeezed olive oil and aloe and basil blend cruelty-free, vegan, um, and then no sulfates or silicones. This is what it looks like. It's got a protective seal, which I definitely appreciate. And so this is the leave-in. This is what that looks like. It smells pretty good. It has kind of a citrusy scent, but also I feel like there's a touch of floral as well. I don't know. That's an interesting, interesting scent. Um, it's very like Bath and Body Works scent to me. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and use this as my leave-in conditioner. All right, so I'm starting with this section, and it has dried a little bit since I rinsed out my deep conditioner, so I am going to wet it with some warm water. I'm going to go in with... Oh, that's an interesting... You can definitely feel the oils in it. Like, it's definitely a cream, but you can feel that it's got oil in it. Like, it's got that kind of smooth, slippery texture. Now, as far as slip, it doesn't really have... Well, let me not speak too soon. Let me, let me work it through and see. I was going to say it doesn't really have a ton of slip. Um, 
But again, my hair dried, so I can't really fault the product because maybe it'd be better straight out of the shower. So far, I like this. It goes in really nicely. Um, definitely feels moisturizing. My ends are doing a weird thing. I don't know why they're doing that, but... <laughs> Probably because I need a trim. Um, but yeah, I like it so far. So... Like I mentioned, Curlsmith is a little bit on the pricey side. Um, I don't remember how much exactly this was. I'll put it on the screen, um, but it was definitely in the 20s <laughs> for an eight ounce jar. Um, they do have different sizes. So this comes, um, I don't remember which sizes this comes in, but I remember the souffle came in the eight ounce. I think there was like a 12 or 16 ounce. And then there was like a small um, travel size, which was like, Two, two or three ounces or something like that. Um, so a little bit on the pricey side, because um, an eight ounce was 20 something dollars. Um, hence why I hadn't used it yet, because <laughs> um, I just couldn't bring myself to purchase it. But when I saw that Ulta was having 40% off, I definitely took advantage. Um, but I can definitely see myself going through this little eight ounce jar of leave-in conditioner like super fast. <laughs> like I've only done two sections and I've already used a good amount of this jar. Um, so that's kind of a bummer just because it is pretty pricey and I don't see myself buying a bigger container of it just because it's so expensive. <laughs> like you would have to spend like 40 bucks to get enough to use at least on the density of my hair because i have pretty dense hair um you'd have to spend a lot of money to get enough so i don't know don't know if i would repurchase it unless they were having a sale um, i think that's really the only way i would repurchase um it's not really and maybe I'll get more of this from the style, uh, from the styler, from the souffle. Um, but it's not really like taming my hair the way my leave-ins usually do. Like normally if it gives you enough moisture, you shouldn't still have a ton of frizz while your hair is wet. And I am still seeing a lot of frizz, so I don't know. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be like absorbing very well. We'll see, maybe if I let it sit for a little bit. Like there shouldn't be this much frizz when my hair is wet and with product, you know? So hopefully the souffle will help with that, but this is a bit concerning and we may have to switch to a twist out <laughs> depending on what happens here. All right, so that's how much I used. So decent amount. Um, like I said, it's pretty thick, so I feel like you don't need a whole lot, but at the same time, it doesn't have a lot of slip. So that kind of makes me use more because of the lack of slip. Um, probably more than I needed to, just to be able to like pull it through. Um, but my first impressions, I do like this. Um, it definitely feels moisturizing. Um, wish it had a little bit more slip. But otherwise, I mean, it seems like a good leave-in conditioner. We will see once I finish styling um, how it plays with the souffle. All right, so the next product we're going to be using is the Curl Defining Style Souffle. The instructions on this one say use on soaking wet hair. So same as the in-shower style fixer. I guess there's not really a difference. Um, take a dime-sized amount per hair section. Rub it between your palms. A dime-sized amount. Get out of here. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> um, rub it between your palms. Smooth down. The length of the hair using the praying hands method scrunch gently upwards then air dry or diffuse when, when fully dry scrunch again to break the cast no residue or greasiness so i mean it does say it's for curly or wavy hair those instructions are very much for someone with looser curl textures <laughs> um we don't scrunch around here <laughs> we don't need to do any of that like that's a recipe for tangling we there's no scrunching up in here um, and I do use the praying hands method in addition to other methods, um, usually raking and then using the praying hands to kind of smooth through. As far as the ingredients, it says um, hand-picked ingredients, indigenous Irish moss, babasu oil, flaxseed infusion, rare andoroba, 
wild rosemary and sage and mashed avocado so um, interesting this one also has glycerin um, second ingredient it does not have coconut oil but on the side of their stylers they do give you kind of a um, scale as far as how much hold it has and so this one's a level five which it says is bouncy hold um, so we'll see the in shower style fixer was a level 10 hold so that's like their strongest hold styler um, so we'll see I'm gonna be interested to see what kind of hold this gives me but just to show you what the product looks like again it has the same little protective seal Do you see that it's like jiggly um, but it is kind of liquidy like I feel like it'll spill if I open it or if I tilt it over so that is interesting so we are going to try not to spill this re-wet this section even though I just wet it a second ago but it does say to do it on soaking wet hair so I'm gonna add some more water I do feel like that um the oil and cream sunk in a little bit since I let it sit I'm gonna go in with that much and I'm gonna start off with my usual usual kind of raking method, but I will do the praying hands since that's what they say to do. Um, this is interesting. It kind of just like dissipated into my hair. Interesting. Uh, let me add a little bit more. It was a little bit more because it's like gone. Like it just like dissolved. Weird. It gives me the feel of like a, even though it's not, it gives me the feel of like a glycerin free gel. Like how watery it turns. Oh, now it's foaming. Oh, weird. Okay, this is, this is a weird situation happening right now. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of frizz control though. That's what's worrying me the most. Let me try and do a slightly bigger section because I think maybe I'm using too much product. But I feel like if I use less, it doesn't really do anything. I might turn this into a twash and go, which I do sometimes when I want the results of a twist out, but I don't have time to let a twist out dry. <laughs> because this is the other thing is like this product needs to work on soaking wet hair so if I do a twist out it's gonna take forever to dry this is what we're looking at right now I mean there's definitely some definition but it's yeah, okay I mean maybe as it dries it'll get better because like these little spots up here look really good Maybe as it dries, it'll get better. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I use too much product. Uh, so what I was going to say is sometimes when I want the results of a twist out, but I also kind of want to quickly do it like a wash and go, I will apply my products like a wash and go do kind of large twists like loose twists um and very you know big sections look at all of that i definitely use too much product look at all of that let's get rid of that <laughs> that was way too much um but so what i'll do is i'll put it in kind of twists as i'm styling let it air dry for just a little bit and then that kind of sets the curl pattern a bit and then i'll take them out and blow dry them section by section um so it'll end up being a wash and go really but the twists just kind of help initially set it if i feel like i'm not getting enough kind of hold and control from the products um that usually works if i'm using like a cream styler or like a custard or something like that. I am going to work in slightly bigger sections because I am finding that I'm using too much product. So I'm not going to work in as small sections as I usually do for my wash and go. Usually that's how I get the best definition. 
but I feel like I'm just using way too much product in the small sections that I usually do. So we're gonna go bigger. Let's talk about what's good about it. I do like how it applies. It has a ton of slip. Um, so that's nice. And it does feel like it should smooth your hair as you're applying it. It just doesn't seem to be doing that for me. Like it smooths through and then the frizz just instantly comes back. So I don't know if it's just my texture because it's not really meant for kind of coilier, kinkier hair. Maybe. But I do like the slip. I like the scent. Could do without the texture. I don't really like this jello-y, jiggly, goopy, but chunky and like, bleh, I don't like it. <laughs> it does not make me want to do my hair because it's a weird texture. I could do without that. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, it seems like it would work for looser textures. Now that I've applied it all over and I have these kind of chunky twists, I'm gonna actually unravel the first twist I did just to see what it's doing, <laughs> if it's behaving. Cause usually you can tell after it's been sitting for a couple seconds, um, if it's behaving, which it seems like it is. It's like kind of containing the frizz a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think it'll be okay. Um, maybe. I don't know. Like this section, it's hard to tell. So the thing is, it's not like separating enough to where I can really tell if it's gonna work, you know? I wanna like it, I really wanna like it. I definitely think the in shower style fixture is going to be better for my hair texture, but we will see. I'm going to do something with this and then I will be back to show you guys the final results. All right. All right. So I'm back from blow drying my hair. Let's talk. <laughs> so I didn't trust the souffle. Let me, let me back up a little bit. So as soon as I got off camera, I was going to leave my twists in and let them air dry for a little bit. But I was like, I, that's gonna take too long. I don't have time for that. So I took the twist out instantly. So my hair was still soaking wet. Took the twist out, kind of raked the product through, tried to get it back smooth. Um, and it was smooth for the most part, but there's still a ton of frizz. So I went in with the in shower style fixer. And this one, I was actually mistaken. I thought that this said it was for curly and coily hair. This one also says for curly and wavy hair. So I guess I don't have stylers in this line, in the moisture line for coily hair. I just have the leave-in conditioner. <laughs> um, they do have a Hold Me Softly Style Balm or something like that, um, which I can't imagine they say, let me actually, let me look it up. So I'm looking at the Hold Me Softly Style Balm online and it does say it is soft hold styling cream for wavy and curly hair. So on the website, um, if you click on the style souffle, even though this says styling gel for curly or wavy hair, on the website it says medium hold styling gel for any curl type. So there's that. And then let me see what it says for the style fixer. On the packaging it says styling gel for curly and wavy hair. On the website, if you go on the in, style, in shower style fixer, it says strong hold styling gel for curly and coily hair. I knew I saw that somewhere, so I'm not crazy. Um, <laughs> So a little confusing, but anyway, I brought that up to say I took this out because um, I didn't like how my hair was looking before I blow dried it. So I used this kind of as a finisher. So my hair was still soaking wet, but I didn't go through section by section and apply it. I just took a small amount and smoothed it over and did praying hands um, just to get it kind of coated all over my hair, um, but not kind of breaking it down into sections and really applying it section by section. Um, so just kind of use it as a finisher. It did seem to tame the frizz a little bit at first. When I diffused, it instantly frizzed up. Like as I was like just even starting to diffuse, it was frizzing instantly. Um, all of these products do have glycerin in them, so I don't know if that is part of the issue. I think I need to do a little more playing around with it, which is kind of annoying to me because for products this expensive, um, and I am checking the regular price for these products is $27 for an eight ounce product. 
that is pretty pricey. Um, and for something that pricey, I want it to work well <laughs> without me having to experiment and do all kinds of stuff to figure out how to make it work. Um, bottom line, let's kind of talk about my results. So I definitely have some definition. So especially down here, which this section tends to define really nicely anyway, but these curls are nicely defined. They're moisturized, they're bouncy. Um, these guys came out pretty nicely. Up here, it's just a ton of frizz. There's still some product residue right here. That's because it's not all the way dry, I think. Um, but look at this frizz. Like just in one strand, it's just surrounded by frizz. Um, there's still definition, like you can see the curl, but there's zero frizz control. Um, and that's all throughout, like. So I don't know, I wonder if the combination of the oil and cream and the souffle and then topping it with the style fixer i mean maybe it was just too much um and so i lost the hold it does feel like there's still some hold like there's definitely a little bit of a cast not not a like significant cast um and i i went lightly with the in shower style fixer just to make sure i didn't end up you know skewing my results too much but like the, I mean that one's not bad but it's just frizzy and I don't want to spend $27 on a styling product and it be frizzy like that's just it shouldn't be this much work <laughs> um so I I mean I don't know I will play around with it a little bit this style is not gonna last me I can tell you that right now it's gonna be frizzy tomorrow um, I'm probably going to end up putting it in two braids or something like this is not going to be a, a wash and go that I'm going to wear for the week because there's no hold. There's no frizz control. It's basically an afro. Um, it's soft, super soft. I will tell you that the leave-in conditioner is definitely moisturizing uh, because my hair is very, very soft. But this is not a wash and go. <laughs> I may or may not do another video if I find a way for these to work for me. Um, whether it's for a different style, maybe a twist out, maybe, you know, something else. Let me know if you guys have tried these products before and if you have, how did you get them to work? What did you use them with? What style did you do? Give me all the details because clearly this was a failed experiment. <laughs> so that is it. Um, thank you again so much for watching. If you liked what you saw and want to see more, definitely hit the like button. Um, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe um, and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new videos. And that is it. Until next time, I will see you guys in my next video.